I don't think anybody knows where this is going at the moment, and that includes the people in the Berlimont carrying out these last-minute negotiations, Michel Barnier uh, and Lord Frost, because they are both acting under constraints from above. Michel Barnier, from that mandate that he has from European leaders about how far he can go, what concessions he can offer. Lord Frost, because, of course, he is working on behalf uh, of Boris Johnson. And there are so many moving parts. Remember, tomorrow, the Internal Markets Bill uh, starts its progress again through the House of Commons. That is loathed here in Brussels by many uh, European politicians who think it's an affront against the withdrawal agreement and that that threat to break international law, they say, has torpedoed much of the respect that they had for the uh, UK government. On the flip side, uh, the European Council will be meeting later this week. That really does add, I think, a bit of impetus. They, after all, have to approve any deal and watching over it like a hawk will be Emmanuel Macron, who whose Europe minister, Clement Bowen, has already said that, yes, the government there would veto a deal uh, that they didn't like. And remember, this still, at the end of it, has to be signed off by the European Parliament. And they, in turn, have said that if those controversial clauses in the Internal Market Bill are still in place, then zip, they will call the whole thing off. Frankly, this is like one of those sort of games where there are balls flying everywhere, gates spinning round, and the whole thing has to be balanced. And yet, I think that is possible. There is a deal that has been, has been agreed in outline around fishing, that that would still have to be enacted, that the fine uh, decisions around quotas would have to be made, but they think there is a landing zone. The really difficult bit is around competition rules, around this so-called level playing field, and about how far European rules can be allowed to transgress into UK public life. That is the bit that really has created a fissure between the two sides. And I think that if we do end up with no deal, that would be the cause. Frankly, neither side wants no deal. But at the same time, as for so long in these negotiations, each side thinks it's the other lot that should give up a bit more. But we really are heading towards the end game.